started looking into the report basic report okay how to create a simple report so in order to create a simple report we defined our requirement we were supposed to get the data from the mara table based upon the material type and creation date okay and this is the output which we were supposed to get this field name may be uh yeah it, it's not correct a e d a t it seems so just let me check and i will correct it over here okay and then in uh, order to uh, learning this basic report there we also learned about the select option how it looks like so select option is nothing but it is an internal table with a header line containing the field sign option low high so select option behaves like an internal table right it is having four fields sign option a low high very very important interview question will have to remember this part so in sign you are having including and exclude excluding either you can include or you can exclude okay in option you have various option right equal to greater than or equal to less than or equal to greater less than not equal so such option is there in low you know that this is the low value and this is the high value okay to use the uh, select option in the select query we have to use the in clause right we have seen that we have to use the in clause over there let's go to the system and we will be having a quick recap of our last program and then we will move ahead and we will see some new interesting stuff in our today's class go to ac38 uh, this is the program i have created uh, by mistake i have given 03 apr it should be jdmb28 okay i'm just going to correct this one later i realized that 20th jdmb28 demo 23 this maybe we can keep just let me check which is the available name we are having so jdmb28 star f4 so the last program with uh 28 we are having the 20th so 21 i will use over here copy jdmb28 jdmb28 uh it was apr or jdmb28 is fine simply demo 23 click on this copy button sorry just a second demo 21 copy copy so in your program if you want to copy all those option you can select i don't have any variant or something like that so simply i have clicked on copy button okay we'll come over here and we have seen that you know this is the ersd is the field name which is for creation of material so i'll just correct this one ersda okay so this is the ersda okay now uh, yesterday we created one structure and based upon this structure we created internal table and work area right this is uh, we saw that load of program is the first event which gets triggered then after initialization right we are having the parameters select options at selection screen so these are the different events we are having right initialization generally we use to initialize the value like this you can use over there though initialization is not uh, mandatory to use uh, at many places you will uh, if you, you were not going to use initialize initialization it's okay like your requirement is going to get fulfilled okay but if you have to do the validation you know if you have to do the validation you must have to give this at selection screen then there it becomes mandatory 
okay so just we should understand how we can use this one and whenever we feel that some requirement is there of the particular event we can go and you can use you might have observed in our last uh, you know uh, in uh, in some last uh, uh, some programs i was not using any kind of event still i was able to show you the demo right but based upon the requirement once you understand what is the significance of this event you will be in better position to use this event as per your requirement fine so we have seen yesterday uh, this part uh, we were able to print the output right if uh, let me run once again this one press f8 okay just press f8 and press f8 nothing is coming you can see that nothing is coming why nothing is coming because you know i have used this add selection screen event and everything is running in add selection screen only so if you want to get it printed you must have to use the start of selection or end of selection okay activate this one run this run this one and you can see this time so this is how like if one event you are going to use then in that case it becomes necessary to check the other events okay so once you get the error or if you are not able to get the output in that case you will be automatically able to understand what you have to do so nothing to worry okay it's easy so now here you can see that i'm giving the vertical line if you want to give the you know uh, this line uh, this horizontal line this is also possible this also you can give so here what you can do that at last u line you can give so this is for the horizontal line okay or what you can do you can write the right statement and you can psi u line okay you have two way psi v line you can see here vertical line and for this psi u line but if psi u line is like variable which is having the content as this value okay this value is having as a content so it will just print okay but uh, the combination of both is you can understand something like you know this uh, uh, u line okay so if you are going to give the u line you don't have to write it you don't have to use the write statement okay so i was using psi u line you don't have to use this uh, statement so if you write this one or this one both is same okay i will just show you come over here go back first we will see with the u line check the syntax now there is no problem activate it press f8 run it okay and just run you can see that the u line is coming over here that line is coming correct you can see that line is coming there is no problem okay now similarly if you want to give the psi u line okay just comment this one and here if you want to give the right u line activate this one activate press f8 and you can see that you you have the same effect right you will be having the same effect over here so you can give the line like this okay fine so now one more thing uh, i would like to discuss over here you can see that uh, here we are having some extra lines coming over here this is the extra line which is coming so you want to remove this line so what you can do that uh, yeah. sorry hello someone is asking some question Someone is asking some question. Are you there? Sir, I think uh, attendee two is uh, on is in not uh, unmuted his mic. That's why. Okay. Okay, fine. I have muted them. Now let's go ahead and hear the Sai U line. Pretty pin to achieve the syntax. Activate this one. Activate. 
okay so th that is coming so i want to remove it that one i don't want to get that one okay that extra line i don't want to get so what we can do that you know uh if you want to do with the help of u line you can specify the length okay so here the maximum length is you know 95 right this is the 95 after this 95 i'm giving the psi v line so 95 is my length so i will just give 95 over here okay so if you give 95 what will happen this uh, is not expected okay statement is just a second let me check its syntax so we can actually specify the length press f1 we'll be having some so u line at position length you can see this is the length length we can specify this is at slash position fine so here come and now it should not be any problem so some space was required just i missed that one press f8 and press f8 and you can see that after 95 you know okay just a second i'll have to give in a different way from 0 to 95 i'll have to tell from 0 to 95 i'll have to provide the space okay now it's not coming perfectly it's coming after 95 after 95 characters this is going to get displayed my requirement is to display only uh within on, only up to 95 characters okay so this is the length that's fine we are giving that one you can see that this u line is having uh, if you go and check the documentation this statement mainly has the same effect as the statement right line at slash position right from which position no gap So it is also fine. Length. Okay. Let me give one and I will try effort yeah now it's coming fine but our data is not coming right let me check why our data is not coming u line this is okay activate this one activate activate i don't know what is happening <clears throat> If you are going to give this one, let me try with this. Okay. So I want to display a uh, right side U line. Check the syntax activate this one it is also having the same impact okay what i will do that here it's not working but i have another way also to do this one what i will do uh, but here also we can do i have done i'm not able to uh, do here uh, i'm not able to remember that how to do here but we have another way also i will check this one and i will let you know here also how we can do okay just give you line over here and it's fine another way what we can do that 
see here we are having 95 right so this is the maximum length 95 we are having so here if you come for this report with you can give the uh, you know uh, a standard page heading okay so you have the option called you will get the syntax let me check it sir. so defining reduce list option this list option if you see just let me copy this so with the help of this list option it is possible you know, no standard page heading i will tell you what is this no standard page heading just comment this one line size here what you can do that you can tell to the system the line size should be 95 so if you're going to give the line size 95 the output screen will be having you know the length visible up to 95 only other will be hidden okay so just to give the full stop over here check the syntax activate it and press f8 and this time if you will see that you know this line this line is coming till here only right so here this is one way like 95 before going to give then the visible length that that's the line size you can see the line size the horizontally will be able to see up to 95 characters only right and that's what i'm doing over here maximum it is 95 so here you can see that 45 the meaning of 45 means from beginning from the beginning of the screen to 45 65 means from beginning of the screen up to 65 from beginning of the screen of the 85 it is not like the from entire position not not like that from very beginning okay so this is one way you can just try exploring yourself how you can do with the help of u line it is possible to do you can try with the various combination over here we are having the at you know the slash position length right so it just gives that uh, at which position we want to write okay then it gives the i don't know about this one this position at position length no gap okay you can try by checking over here how it's working but sim generally what we use this u line okay to just uh, draw a line so this is one way here how we can do now this no standard page heading here just you can come so first i will disable this one and i will show you what is its meaning press f8 and here you can see this is the basic report right so this is known as the standard page heading if you are going to you know if you are going to remove this one this no standard page heading okay then that standard page heading will not come okay you can see that that standard page heading is now not coming only the by default heading by the system it's coming uh, here also basic report was coming earlier now it is not coming so that's what here also for this if you want to give the u line you can give okay similarly uh i like you know just a Hello. second after yeah. sir right is end of selection See here. Okay. Sorry, what you are telling? End of selection. Yeah, uh, in uh, right after right statement uh, on the after end of selection on right statement we can use. All right. Human. Yeah, here we can use and in beginning also we can use. No, actually I was thinking why that is not working this one. Okay this is supposed to work so 
some this this i will check here here you can give this u line right escape and escape that's fine and uh here also you can give but okay yeah we have given that length so it will come perfectly over here the line and v line also if you want you can give the v line over here right so the same you can copy from here this 95 color scheme also you can copy right so this material after uh, after writing this material here we can give this control v and then after this 45 use this psi v line right control v give the comma and then again this 65 psi v line give the comma and similarly 85 psi v line paste it over here okay 95 psi v line this also you'll have to give okay in order to get the you know consistent output so material type color let me give the color what i will do that i will write now it's getting confusion over here color color six give the color six over here for this material material type control v 65 remove this one give the comma okay industry sector for this industry sector also we can use this color give this color over here and give the comma 85 civilian now the material group right press enter the material group color one i'll just copy this one and i will paste it okay fine now it's perfect check the syntax now there is no problem activate this one activate and now it will be aligned so like that there there are you know many ways like that you can see here uh, no line is coming correct so this line also what you can do that after this uh, to escape before the loop you can put this one copy this u line and paste it so just you can try doing the formatting you will enjoy it and you can just press f1 uh, what are the different you know uh, there are so many different variant uh, you can just try like right at you have the at slash position length okay some of this i will tell you this at position and all okay no gap right if you don't want to give any gap it's so just you can check it if you want to give a quick info right so if you put the cursor over there and if you want to get the quick info then you will be able to get just try i have not tried that one just by reading that i'm able to feel like that i have not tried okay press effort and here you can see that now it is coming perfectly okay now this right uh, i will just show you some right variant and just comment this one okay uh, here itself maybe what i will do that comment it over here and i will show you some right variant right you know at suppose if you want to you know write at uh, fifth uh, character means from beginning at fifth character you want to uh, write so write at five and here some at fifth car you can give and you can just try check it activate it activate press f it and you can see the from beginning the five space it has been left 
okay similarly if you want to give some 20 space you can check that you can give it press f8 you can see so that is the uh like okay right at and another variant so similarly you can also try generally we uh you know uh, don't use very much okay but at this at you can maybe it may require okay this position it tells about the position directly you can uh copy the example from here okay so here you can see the right this 10 gap it is leaving okay if we're just giving the 10 so this is just telling you the position okay and on which position you are so from beginning 10th position 40 means from beginning 40th position so this we have already seen right right no no gap and gap so if we're going to give this one directly there will be no gap and no there will be no there will be no gap between no and gap right here so like that you can just go and copy from here and you can try looking yourself because all the things is not possible here to cover so just try yourself by going to the just press f1 press after pressing f1 you will be able to see the various options double click over here and go with the different option like if you are interested to learn more okay and just a quick info you can see this is the quick info right so just you can copy from here directly it's easy to practice this one even you will get some standard example also okay so that a standard example if you want to check for that example you know for here here like this for showing the hide the the example is given over here this is the example so this is you can see the list using colors this is the example you can go and just check uh, how you can see the these are the example given by the sap itself okay so either you can go with the example over double click over here you can see that this is the example they have given under car id under con id right so this is again you know one one of the nice uh, representation just if we are going to give under car id under con id from you don't have to do the alignment automatically alignment will be done so you will be having some basic idea over here you can see the format color right if you want to do some color uh, specifically so format color so different different option is there generally uh, I means uh, I, I have not used uh, very much okay mostly what we have used that this right statement like that a uh, color also is not very frequently used this right statement is sufficient okay but if you want to learn in more detail just you can press f1 and you can go there and you can learn fine i have pasted over here uh, from there right no no gap gap I just activate like this and press f8 and just run it we can see that you can see no gap there is no gap is coming when you are giving no gap otherwise if you don't give this gap gap will come right gap will like that you can go and practice see okay moving ahead let's move ahead so this is about the right statement okay now uh, just let me enable it okay let's come to the actual programming part i will just cut this and i will paste it at last or i will just remove it not required check this syntax activate it activate it fine <laughs> now we want to do the validation okay let's come to the actual programming we want to do the validation so what i want to do that I'm pressing F8 over here. If someone is going to give by mistake uh, some some invalid number, right? This M tart is not present over there. Okay, some invalid number they are going to give it over here. Okay, some invalid number. So, and if I press enter, it should tell me that this is the invalid number. Currently, you can see that when I'm pressing enter, it's telling no record found. I don't want this one no record found or something like that i want i want system should tell me that you know 
this material type is not valid please provide the valid material number if i press enter currently as per the program flow you can see the program is flowing flowing like this okay select a statement if size of rc not equal to zero you can see not equal to zero because that material type does not exist right so size of rc not equal to zero message no record found over here it's telling right? instead of no record found what i want to tell to the user the actual problem why this record is not found so and before that itself before putting this large query here we are getting the five data right so this to what i'm trying to do over here i will put the same select query but with different you know just i will copy this one and paste it over here okay control v so here this at selection is screen this event is used for the validation so like if you want to validate your material type is not correct under this at uh, at selection screen you have to write the code and the scope of this event will be from here to the next event so what is my next event here you can see this is my next event so all this will come under this at selection screen i want to i want to limit its a scope from here to you know up to this statement only up to this statement only so what i will do that for the another statement i will start another event so that my scope will be limited the start of selection okay i will give the another event at uh, you know so a start of selection event this is one another event okay so generally this is the uh, uh, sequence okay load of program initialization at selection screen okay and there is one more at selection screen output and then a start of selection so any event after this you can place then between two events the previous event will be having the scope of that particular event so this event you know so this event you are going to have this particular event is having the scope till here only because the next event is going to start from here so if you want to limit the scope you can specify the another event okay you can specify the another event then what will happen that your previous event will be having the limited scope fine come over here now and i want to check my material type exist or not so i'm just going to you know select right over here single or just i want to check whether that material type is there or not at least one material type okay so for checking that one directly what you can do all these things is not required okay i just want to check about the material type so select single mtart right from mara into table table is also not required just to, i want to check uh, whether that particular material type is correct or not so from mara into will have to give lv underscore table is not required you require some work area right so this is my work area or this is my you know variable so lv underscore m dot i'm just going to define it a single variable lv underscore m dot type m dot okay so this is one variable i have because a single you know single value i'm just getting so one single variable will be sufficient to store this data right so lv m dot check the syntax okay and here you can see that i have not declared some work area or something like that it is a uh, single you know single uh, component it is having i have not declared any structure or something like that it is of type component okay so it's easy right so if size of rc is going to be equal to zero what i'm trying to do i'm trying to face this material type from this mara okay and if it is uh, uh, if it is available then it will be coming over here and size of rc is going to be set as zero okay so if size of rc is not equal to zero just i will tell to the user 
that you know please provide please provide the valid material type okay and I am going to give the information information to the user okay and just I will add it okay just activate this one activate press effect okay and press enter now big breakpoint you got so you are able to see that breakpoint got triggered this is a hard coded breakpoint okay I have just written it over so everywhere if I forget to give over here it will work okay but in the real time development once your development gets completed we are supposed to remove this breakpoint otherwise every time it will stop over there and user will get irritated okay and he will complain you so we don't have to give this breakpoint over there once your development and everything testing and all is completed you have to remove all such kind of hard coded breakpoint okay now press f6 see here you can see the zero that means this is a valid material so there is no problem it will go ahead and it will display the data okay but you can see the here that it has not displayed any data why what's the reason it has not displayed any data if the material type is we will see uh, i will show you that part why it has not displayed but uh, let's give some different here different value ajk is not a valid material press enter and you can see that the size of rc is four what is the meaning of four that means this material type which i have provide over here under this parameter p underscore mtit right this is the parameter only which from where uh, i'm passing the value from the selection screen and if you see that size of rc zero so now it will come and it will give you the message Right. please provide the valid material please provide the valid material type okay and now you realize that you have given some wrong material okay and you are just going to exit you can see that control has come to this exit and it will just exit from here okay and just from exit it is coming to the startup selection and from here also it is exiting you can see this this control is telling that it's going back this a small arrow arrow one more arrow is there you can see so this arrow is telling you are going back okay so this you understood now the thing is you know you you want uh here like uh, uh at from that statement itself right from that statement itself you want you don't want to you know come to this exit uh, and suppose you have written some statement over here you have written some more statement select read or whatever if you have written some statement you feel that you don't want to go on to that statement means you are very strict even if you are very strict that if the if if the invalid material type is there we don't have to go further you are very strict okay so in that case what you can do instead of showing the information message okay you can give the error message so as soon as system will encounter the error message it will not go ahead even a single line further even it will not come to this exit automatically program will terminate it and it will go go there means the control will be there on the selection screen itself i will show you press effect and give some value over here press enter f6 and you can see that is the invalid material type right that's why the size of rc is 4 come over here and as soon as f6 you will press or f5 you can see that no exit nothing has come over there and it is telling please provide the valid material type until and unless you will give the correct material type you will not be able to uh, go ahead okay you will not be able to go ahead so i'm going to give this ferd okay or suppose if your error is such a way that you feel that if you want to if if, if you want to you know go back you want to terminate the complete program okay you want to abort the complete program you know you realize that no this is a very severe error and you know 
it's not go to go it's not good to go ahead at all means this program should completely terminate then what you can do that you can give the terminate this is the abort error type a so these are the different types of error you can see that now if i come over here and press uh f8 press f8 okay okay i have given the correct material type that's why give some wrong material type okay press enter and press f6 you can see the size of rc is 4 and it will just terminate and go back it will just uh, please provide the valid material type you can see that it's a it's a shine for a board uh, you know it's just aborting or it will just go back to the initial screen click on this exit and you can see that it has come directly to the beginning so like that you can abort your transaction or about your program okay so this is the about another message type you have the warning message type okay so in case of warning message type what it will do that it will take you to the same screen and it will allow you to correct the error okay it will allow you to correct the error so what will happen that i just show you control d come over here and give the warning w over here message type warning press effort effort and uh, it's the valid material type so you will not be able to you can see if it is the valid material type so you will not be able to get this message give some invalid one 1938 i'm giving this is a material type which is not a valid material type right you can see the four and once you come over here the warning what it will do that you know just put the breakpoint over here i will show you how it's going to be at. it's giving you the warning it will give you the warning press f6 and you can see that it has come the control has come to the screen on this particular selection screen it is providing you the option to correct the data right it is providing you the option to correct the data over here okay so just uh, i'm going to correct this data again press enter okay and you can see now again from the beginning it is coming so it's just a warning it gives you the warning right it gives you so what is the difference between information message and warning right the difference between information message and warning is that if we're going to give the here wrong value for example 1938 right and if you have enabled the information message then what will happen that control will not go back control will not go back okay what i mean to tell just give the wrong value over here and press enter press f8 and you can see just i'm clicking on this okay continue button so when i click on the continue button the control will keep on flowing means if i click on this continue button you can see the control was here right control means cursor means program control this is my program control you can see this a small arrow here first it was on message now it has come to the exit means it didn't go back right it didn't go back because of because i have written this exit statement that's why it is coming out okay but in case of warning what happens that that automatically control will go back automatically control will go back you don't have to write this exit statement i will just show you press f8 come over here and if you come to this warning press enter and uh, press f6 right and here you can see the warning is there type w press f6 and you can see automatically it has come right there is no option you have to go ahead it is telling you to uh, correct the error once you uh correct the error then you can go ahead right or even if you are not going to correct the error it's going to again start from the beginning right again you are going to start from the beginning okay just to press enter and you can see uh, uh sorry 
yeah so here you can see that you can correct the error it will actually not go from the beginning but you can just correct the error and press enter you can see that you know here uh, it is coming onto this exit statement so what's the difference between information and warning information message will not allow when their control will be there it will not allow the to correct the error but in case of warning you will be able to correct the error right so you can see that this 1938 it's uh, there i'm pressing the enter over here press f it once again and you can see because of the wrong uh you know because of the uh uh this is this is just a warning and if you have not doing anything over here right if you are not doing anything over here it, it's just giving the warning warning means the, means just to check and you realize no my material type is correct there is no problem right you realize that my material type is uh, 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 just imagine a scenario where you know whatever the you have entered the data that is the correct data so just it is telling you the warning it is not stopping you and if you once again press f8 or enter what it will do it will start executing from that point onwards it will not execute from beginning but if we're going to change something over here right if you just do the change some do some changes over here and press enter it will start from beginning okay so that's the difference between information message the warning message just i will list it uh note it down over here for a better understanding right so let me do one thing so all the different messages is having the different significance and both uh, and those are having the different use also okay so information message information message and then we are having the warning message so in information message what you have it gives the information and program flows okay as usual means it will not terminate okay it will not terminate and it will and it will not give you the option to correct the uh, you know to to correct or to change actually to change the value on selection screen Okay. it will not give you the option but in warning message what will happen that it gives you the message right and it enables the selection screen to enter the new value okay enter the new value so if you realize if you realize that value is correct value is correct then what you can do then you can press f it or just to press enter you can press enter okay or press f it just check with this f it okay let me check uh, go here press enter warning is there press f it okay one nine three eight press enter f it you can see this warning is coming i'm now pressing the f it over here okay okay so you don't have to you know if you are going to press f it again from beginning it will start right so you must have to press enter if you are going to press the enter from that particular place only it will start right so keep this thing in mind so come over here so if it is not uh, if you realize that value is correct then you can press enter and it will 
मूव अहेड फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस स्टेप ओके सो इट विल नॉट री रन द स्टेप ओके इफ यू आर गोइंग टू इफ यू आर गोइंग टू करेक्ट द इफ आर गोइंग टू एंड इफ यू आर करेक्टिंग द डेटा okay if you realize that no the data is not correct if you are correcting the data and press enter then what will do that because data you have corrected so if you press enter then it will run from beginning then it will run from beginning okay so this is one important point information message and warning message come over here we have some another stuff also what's the difference between uh the error message and information message okay or error message and warning message so just i will tell you the difference between error message and information message later you another difference you can yourself decide okay information message and warning message sorry sir information message and error message so in error message you must have to correct the error there is no other way you must have to correct the error otherwise you know you cannot move ahead without correcting the error right just once again you go over here come to this e and come to this uh, i so first i will show you with this e e you have just so seen it that if i'm going to give some uh, different error you can see that press f8 and you can see here it has come and if you again press enter you know again it will go to that point itself every time it will go and it will tell you to correct the error until and unless you correct the error you will not be able to move ahead you must have to you must have to correct the error every time program control program runs from beginning runs from beginning okay every time program runs from beginning when you press enter when you press enter so when you press uh every time a uh, program runs from beginning when you press enter from beginning means what from beginning means at selection screen means at the control goes to the at selection screen whatever the code is there at selection screen from there it runs beginning okay here also in that sense only i am telling right in that sense then the run from the beginning means at selection screen because the enter whenever you press the enter your at selection screen events get triggered that's the meaning come over here in information message it is not the case right you can simply copy this one this and just paste it over here so in information message even if you don't correct the error the program flow will continue program flow will continue it will keep on execute keep on executing it will uh, here it is coming out because i have written the execution uh, exit right so you have to explicitly handle this uh, exit if you realize that no we, you don't have to go ahead you have to write exit or if you just think that it is just for information purpose there is uh, there is no more problem right there is no problem there is no more problem right you have a scenario like that the coming logic here in this particular logic there is no meaning to move ahead because you will not you are not going to get the data that's why i'm getting exit right so that's the things about message uh about message here itself i will just write about the about message the about message is nothing but it is same as the error message only but in error message will be there on the same screen right but in a bot message your complete program gets terminated okay in a bot message your complete program gets uh, terminated that's the main point okay just will write it over here 
error message about message as soon as as soon as this about message encounters program come out come out from the flow come out from the flow and go to the go to the initial sap screen initial sap screen and so you got some idea there are more message type different uh, other message type also one is the successful message type if you want to display that uh, you know that uh, uh, everything is fine and everything got successful you got the successful data right so generally you can give the successful message at last so once you give the successful message i will show you how it's uh, going to be have okay fine come over here and control d i'm just control d and comment this e now give the type s s means successful okay s means successful so here uh let, let me do one thing in exit part i will do in the else part i will give the successful message it will be a better right if everything is going to be fine means if i'm getting the data over here i will just going to give over here that please provide the valid uh, uh, interred material type is interred material type is perfect just i want to show you over here activate this one and here also i'm going to give some you know uh, a statement let me give the breakpoint hard breakpoint over here okay and i will show you the program will either stop here itself or it will go ahead let's observe that one press f8 and press enter okay you can see at selection screen got triggered press f6 right and here that is the correct data so it will come into this part that inter material type is perfect right and you can see the program is getting flowed it is not stopping or it is not giving any pop-up it's keep on continuing and you will come over here also right no you can see that interred material type is perfect right so here what happens actually let me activate once again and here also a start of selection we have already put the breakpoint so what we have observed over here with our observation we have seen that the successfully message got encountered but whatever in this particular at selection screen event was there it got uh, in that scope what it was there it was just keep on executing in this particular at selection screen block right so just activate so that's fine means what i mean to say it will not interrupt your execution the flow will keep on going right so if you are going to press f8 what it will do in this case it will execute this start of selection event also because i have pressed f8 when you are going to press f8 the complete program event is going to trigger all the program event is going to get triggered in case of uh in case if we're going to press f8 f8 means complete execution if we're going to press enter that means only at selection screen event is going to get trigger right so f8 means complete event is going to get trigger in sequence whatever the sequence is there but when you are pressing enter only this particular is going to trigger i have pressed f8 this time and you can see that this time you can see the message it is fine it is coming ahead and i have put the breakpoint you can see that because the start of selection was there again it is coming and it will go directly to this start of selection over here right because i have pressed f8 so if you press enter okay so uh th this you understood what is the meaning of enter and f8 i will just note it down over here so if you press f8 over here the complete program will be executed will be executed with all the events okay 
but if you press enter you know only at selection screen at selection screen event will be triggered okay so just uh, it will check for the uh, validation right fine so you understood this concept now okay uh, let's uh, move ahead the message type we have completed now one important part what I'm going to show you over here and that suppose if you have to display one uh, radio button okay here you can see the parameter and select option is there I have two option over here right yesterday when I was using the select option uh, I faced one issue yesterday right uh, that uh, uh, this ERSDA in this was not working right uh, let me put the breakpoint over here activate this one once I will show this one and then I will go ahead okay so uh, here I'm not passing anything over here so if I'm not passing in select option anything it will consider everything okay all the data it will consider if you're not going to pass anything over here right so press F8 and you can see that press F8 and here press F8 once again and you can see if you press f6 i tend to score 526 all the records with every validity period with this material type you know based upon this condition it has fetched right because nothing is there in this you can see it's blank in select option it's blank right so if it is blank select option is blank then it's going to consider all the data range all the time range all the days it will consider okay that's one point another point yesterday I was trying to give this greater than or equal to sign uh, you can see whatever if even if I have done anything if okay you can see that this add selection screen event is getting triggered right so here uh, greater than or equal to I'm just giving 1 6 2020 right so I'm getting trying to get only this data greater than 1 6 2020 press f8 okay press f6 and here you can see that uh, uh, this is fine that is the correct press f8 okay and press f6 this is the data i tend to score mara here you can see 462 yesterday it was not coming today it is coming why okay why it is coming today i don't know why it's coming okay i also don't know because this is the way i know it is yesterday it was not coming but after the class when I tried it was coming okay so at that particular moment why it was not coming uh, I was doing some mistake or something else but I don't remember it was the same syntax right it was the same syntax I was using but it was giving zero records okay so it was working after the class and this is the way how we do so select option if we're having the select option over there you know we just have to use the in other thing system will take care right so only one point what you have to consider over there suppose you know uh, I will tell you that point sometimes you'll have to write over here the contains pattern instead of in you'll have to write CP you'll have to write the CP contains pattern this will have to write but in most of the cases you are going to use the in only okay in most of the cases you are going to use the in only that part i will show you in the coming classes or just remember okay this is not the correct example over here to show or maybe uh, what i can do okay i will show that one in coming classes let's uh, stop over here and i will uh, just show you some quick uh, other information other part of the programming over here that I want to display the radio button here you can see we are having the two options over here to fetch the data for this material right one is material type another is creation date okay here based upon the material date here based upon the creation date I want you know I want to get based upon only one either on the material type or either on the creation date okay I want only to give 
get based upon the material type or based upon the creation date so i'm willing to give two radio button okay and here you know here you can see it's a technical name is coming right technical name if you want to give the uh, some descriptive name over there that also is possible to give so how to do uh, here you know p underscore m dot parameter select option right go here into this go to and click on this text elements or directly press f5 go to the selection text come over here you can see the p underscore m dot you can give the material type material sorry material type and here we have the creation date save it activate it just go back and now it looks good and if you press f8 you can see the material type and creation it is coming okay now two radio button i want to give let me give the quickly two radio button over here so in beginning i would like to give over here so the parameters the radio button is also a parameter only okay so r uh, b underscore based upon what based upon based on material type so empty just i'm going to give material type m for material t for type b o or b o just i'm going to remove m empty okay so rb means radio button underscore material type type car one you will have to give and then you'll have to specify the radio button group so whenever you are going to create the radio button you must have at least two radio button then only the meaning of radio button is there so radio button always come in a group only one button you can select at a time this is the property of a radio button right so radio button group i'm just going to give abc then another radio buttons rb underscore you know uh creation date so cd i'm just giving type car one right and radio button group and the same group will have to give okay so both the radio button will come under the same group so here activate this and now just if you run it you can see the radio button material type radio button creation date so when i select this radio button material type only this material type should be visible if i'm going to select the second one only this creation date should be visible and i will be able to supply the data into you know and if you have like uh, uh, if you are going to give one more option over here maybe based upon both the criteria right that also if you want to keep then you can add that functionality uh you know uh, both so i'm going to give one more radio button over here parameters over here rb underscore or uh, l type car one radio button abc so like that also you can give and if we're going to activate this one you know three so if we're going to select this three everything should be enabled okay everything should be enabled so first i will do what i will do that i will show you the first functionality how you can achieve right this first one uh, first we will see and then after you will have to implement the third one okay fine so today we will stop here itself and tomorrow we will see the dynamic selection screen okay uh, on youtube also the three ways i have described over there the same thing i'm going to describe over here but with one way only the simple way what is the easiest way it is there we will see over here okay and the most popular way we will see in tomorrow class hope in today's class you have learned something regarding the message type uh, how to like how the different sequence works over here right and how the program flows in good okay some syntax and how you can you know do yourself some experiment okay that is important try to do there are so many things in a bab it's the ocean right there are so many so many so many things so if you know how to read yourself that's a good uh, you know that's a very good one more thing here 
uh, I would like to share you just quickly. We have some one or two minute time. You can see here the material type I am getting from the Mara table into LV underscore material type, right? And uh, here this material type I've defined this material type like this M tag, right? Similarly, if you want to get this uh, one single material number also MATNR, okay? So instead of defining the structure directly you can define one more material number variable come over here and give the data lv underscore matnr type matnr okay and this lv underscore matnr come over here and here also you can give okay but it will not take directly you'll have to put into a bracket here also you'll have to give the bracket and in between this you'll have to give a comma okay so instead of defining a structure because two value you are getting right so generally we define the work area correct so if you don't want to define the work area directly you want to get the data into a variable right it will be handy also so sometimes it becomes you know you don't have to declare one variable uh, a first a structure get the data into a structure then you are going to get into the variable right so in that uh, like more more field also you can include and you can give here in the comma directly it will directly go into that particular variable and you can use for your purpose okay so this is one more thing just i wanted to share with you with this i will stop our today's class okay and let's meet tomorrow if you have any question please feel free to ask okay and you can see that the material number you are uh is see uh, both both where here matner I'm selecting and here mtar so in the same sequence it will come why it's coming wrongly over here because this material number this mtar is coming in this material number right and this a material number is coming into mtar so that's the wrong thing right so the sequence I'll have to correct if you correct the sequence you will get the correct data okay come over here and I will correct the mtar is mtar matner is a matner here it's fine here it should be uh matter or just you will have to change the sequence over here but from performance point of view right because this is a mara table so material number is the first field so keep it first here uh, in beginning only and here you change the sequence that will be so we are having the two option right either you would have put the material type over here right that would be also working but that's not the good practice it should be in the sequence as a, a standard practice from the performance point of view check the syntax now also and from performance and from readability point of view also right it will be more readable if we're going to put the material number over here and from performance point of view also now you will see that it will give you the correct result over here now there is a, you can see feit now and the material number is perfectly coming right okay fine then uh, let me check if some query or question if you have there is no question no query let's stop over here okay. let's meet you now. Uh, yeah i'm just going to that Hi, yeah yes you know, yeah. hello Pankaj. we have one discussion is going on no yesterday i asked one question two questions for me uh which question uh on whatsapp you have DD D, D and uh, yes, yes. okay okay so i have not uh, worked on the real time on that particular topic but what i know about uh, that uh, uh, topic that you know the uh, clear and clean design right this was uh, test oriented development okay test oriented development what was the name of that you remember Test driven development. TDD, right? SS. Yes. Yeah, full form. TDD. Test driven development. Yeah, test driven development, right? Yes. So I have heard about the uh, term in the training. Okay, test driven development but i have not worked on this so what actually i know about this one so whatever the development you are just going to do this is going to be you know specific to the 
test cases suppose if you have some 10 test case like your user requirement you want to you know let's suppose he he just want to add two numbers and he wants to get the result right adding two numbers and get the results so what the you know what the people will do simply he will get the parameters right parameters p underscore val uh, val one type car one or car ten whatever okay so character data type also support the arithmetic operation that's why i'm taking the character data type p underscore val two type car but if arithmetic operation is there it's always better to get the integer data type. though character operation supports character data type though characters uh, data type supports the uh, you know arithmetic operation but it's better to use the you know numeric data type from performance point of view okay so i'm just taking the integer over here as a better practice because i know i have to sum these two number okay so here just you know some lv underscore sum some variable is there lv underscore sum equal to p underscore val one plus p underscore val two now what will happen in the test oriented development that i'm not going to use that validation and all okay this validation i will not use because i'm not bothering about the validation and all okay all the extra feature i'm not bothering what the user requirement is to take the two numbers and get the results so i'm going to just you know add this two number and going to show the result if he is going to provide it's his responsibility but he has given the requirement that please check the number if it is valid or not please check the number then i am going to use this validation means whatever he is going to tell me that much only i am going to do i am not going to put my extra mind over there that's the test driven development to what i know and what i understand okay any other question without any user giving without providing any user uh, inputs by the time you were not adding anything yes yes this is my understanding about whatever, yeah whatever they whatever they give the data type also that one only you will implement a data type he, he might not be able to give you but he will give you the like he will just tell you i want uh, I will be providing two numbers okay and i want to uh, get the result so data type you will have to decide okay but uh, the okay. extra functionality validation and all means in this case okay. uh, you know if your test case has been designed like that you are not going to put some extra functionality or extra thing over that just test oriented development it is like whatever the test case has been defined based upon just it just you are going to uh get your development successfully passed this is your intention okay. one more uh, clean code of uh, clean code concepts means same. what is the clean code concept here? it is the same because see if you are going to if you're not going to put the extra validation right you don't have the extra code over here so if you don't have the extra code over here that means it is going to be clean right it's uh, going to be clean, clean so so both both is same tdd and the clean code concept clean code concept so in your project they are are you going to work on this is it no uh, just they are asking instead of questions so this type of questions in my project i am in bench now okay okay so in some interview question right yes yes they are asking please look into this type of uh, uh answers into the google and uh, i will conduct the interview on friday they told me okay the client call okay 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 fine 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 so you can also try uh, searching on the google or some youtube maybe you will be having some better idea about this okay this is what my understanding about this test driven development you know but uh, better you can just it will be good uh, you got some basic idea and now top up uh, on top of it you know test driven development test driven development okay
so wikipedia link is there introduction to test driven agile data okay what is the test driven development tutorial with example better i think you can go through the youtube maybe you will be able to understand over there some someone would have prepared about this test driven development approach for the test develop which specifies and validates what the code will do okay in simple terms test cases are created before code is written the purpose of pdd is to make the code cleaner simple and bug free Okay. Test driven development starts with designing and development test for every small functionality of an application. Okay. Test driven development starts with designing and developing test for every small functionality of an application. TDD instructs developers to write new code only if an automated test has failed. This avoids duplication of code. The full form of TDD is test driven development just you can learn uh, i also don't know very much in detail okay just i have told you based on my understanding so it's better to go through this stuff business analysis test driven development tutorial development test driven deployment tutorial. they have given some example okay i think youtube will be better from there you will be able to understand uh, you know so go there and try to check over there okay let me go to the now uh, any other okay, question I will yeah yeah uh, because i also don't know much about this it's just uh, based upon my understanding what what i understood from the training okay and the basic discussion but maybe uh, i may be wrong also you know so to understand uh, in the detail i would suggest you to go to the youtube or just learn yourself okay just try to explore yourself fine so okay Paul. yeah okay Pangus. okay uh, any any other doubt we are we are having okay so the today's uh, assignment in today's assignment i will give you a report insert table operation collect field symbol yesterday i have created one more now yeah here oh, oh, oh report already we are having with report over there okay no problem i'll put it so this was regarding the basic uh, report okay now what you can do the validation in basic report so validation will be there same as in select uh, basic report or interactive report same it will it is going to be so activity one what will have to do that what you do uh, on selection screen what you have got over here AORT and uh, creation date right so this validate when user press enter validate and the sales order type so aurt is the sales order type right you can go and check slash n sc 11 a u a r t sales document type okay sales order sales document both is same okay so when user press enter validate the sales order type whether it is correct or not okay so how we will validate so it's better to check from the check table right so okay 
so instead of he, here you can see that i was taking the data from the material number right i was checking from the mara table tomorrow i will tell you what would have been the better way this was not the best way what i have done over here right what i have done over here this is not the best way instead of mara table what i could have done you know go here in the mara table and check with the check table because there you will be able to see all the required entry come come into this material type right and go into this input helper check this is the table t134 so instead of instead of you know uh, getting the data from the mara table i could have taken from this particular table okay and i would have validated because all the material type will be there in this uh, table so if some material type is not there in this table that is that the meaning of that means you don't have you know uh, your material type is invalid material type okay invalid material type so this would have been also an approach right but that would have been showing you only the you know your material type is valid or not correct here it is showing for this particular material type if you have the data or not right so if your material type is invalid then of course you will not be having the data right of course you will not be having the data so it's always better to use this approach use this table here you will be having the entry also less number of material type will be also less because the table is starting with t and whenever a table is starting with t it's a customizing table okay just remember and in customizing table generally you are going to have the less amount of record very very less amount of record so tomorrow i will just tell everyone that not to use this mara when doing the validation it's better to use this particular table uh, t134 what it was there so just remember tomorrow i will just keep this point in mind and show them tell them okay fine so you also what you can do that go to sc11 and you have the table bbak is the table from where you are getting the data come to this auart somewhere it is there auart this go to this uh, uh, input help or check and check the validation with this okay here uh, you know order type uh, it will be less amount of data but if you go in vba key table you know you will be having the large amount of data in uh, bb ak table in tv ak table you will be having less amount of data very less amount of data okay because it's a customizing table you can see only 190 records so in real time production system also will be having less very very less in compared to the actual uh, uh, you know the actual transaction data so it is a customizing data you know material type will be you can show some specific material types and it contains only the material type material type is the key field over here you can just run it and you can see this is the key field this is in blue whatever in blue is there is the key field so unique record you will get so search will be very fast validation will be very fast so it's not good to use the select query on bbak table for validation purpose okay similarly on mara table okay so by mistake i have done on the mara table but that table is actually i have shown you that table is the correct table here you use this this check table for this aurt and do the validation so do the validation using the check table this tv ak okay whether the order type is correct or not okay if it is wrong okay first display uh, okay if it is wrong then first display the information message and observe the flow observe the flow again if it is wrong again if it is wrong 
and then secondly what you will have to do display the warning message warning message and observe the flow right then uh, if it is wrong then thirdly thirdly i don't know thirdly is the correct word or not if it is wrong thirdly display information message or not information this time error message okay and just check what is the difference between error message so observation is very very important okay error message and observe the flow if it is wrong then about message just try to do yourself about message and observe the flow. once you do all these things and if it is successful message if it is successful message then give the then give the successful message and observe the flow it will be helpful okay observe the flow in interview point of view uh, uh the, no one till now uh, no one have asked such question like what is the difference but maybe some people can ask uh, this is not very important question from interview point of view okay but it's better to understand this concept it will increase your confidence okay now uh various 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 uh flavor okay various flavor of right statement try to learn yourself there are so many you know try to explore yourself if you have a right statement and some color option some formatting option try to do and you know try to explore yourself various flavor of right statement try to explore and learn yourself okay using f1 button by pressing f1 button okay get from the example copy and paste and just observe so with this let us stop uh, if you have any doubt over here in this assignment is it clear yes sir. okay fine so uh ramesh uh, you were facing any problem like uh, uh, any any uh, doubt or something like that no sir uh, but you were not sharing uh, any you know like uh, uh, your sir assignment. i will share sir, actually yeah so please share because so that i will come to know that you are able to understand or if you are facing some problem you know you are having your colleague others neha you know just try to ask to them and uh, you know th there is no problem if you are facing difficulty you know the uh, but uh, if you are not asking this is the problem if you have the problem and if you are not asking then this will be a problem if you are facing the problem that is not the problem okay so or uh, if they are not able to help you i will be able to help you and some more people are there some experienced people are also there in that group so you know please uh, do the assignment try to understand the concept go through the videos once twice thrice okay and if you have any doubt feel free to ask okay so yesterday others has uh, uh, done a very good thing right assignment neha uh, has also completed the assignment but i was waiting for your assignment i didn't get your assignment so please do and if you are facing the problem you know or if you have some another problem like time issue or something like that please let me know you know if you have like uh, so that uh, maybe i will be able to help you over there and regarding the job perspective you know uh, i will give you one number and you can just talk to that uh, uh, that person and you can ask if you have any concern right so okay so find that uh, let's meet tomorrow bye bye nice day okay so thank you sir